odor of malice. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of malice. The receptionist will not look at you, but will begin to convulse slightly. As spit slides from her mouth onto the table, she will reply in an enraged but whispered tone, When will you be done? If you do not immediately reply with, When I know tranquility, in a calm, methodical tone, go ahead and think of the one you love the most, for it will be your last thought before passing. If the receptionist seems pleased with this answer, she will calmly stand up from her chair, still refusing to look at you and constantly drooling what looks now to be a thick, viscous liquid of the darkest color. She will point to her left and ask you to leave. Looking to your right, you will see a dilapidated hallway with tattered wallpaper and ajar doors with broken windows lining the way, leading to a black void. Here is where you will start to feel the anger. As you walk down this hallway towards the abyss, you will hear whispers coming from the doors. They will tell you stories of horrific wrongs done to people all around the world. They will tell you all the reasons why this world is broken, and why you were a part of it. Do not listen to them. No matter how convincing they are, continue walking, showing no emotion. If you succumb to the rage inside of you, your body and mind will be subjected to all the horrors the voices speak. Eventually, you will reach the end of the hallway. Before you will be another door of the same quality and disrepair as the others. Once you touch the door, the voices will become screams of rage. Their hatred may begin to permeate your psyche, and if it does, you will immediately disembowel yourself with your own hands. However, if you can open the door beforehand, immediately enter and shut it behind you. Looking around the room, you will see concrete walls, stained in what can be assumed blood. The floor is covered in broken glass of varying lengths, all jagged and covered in grime and filth. The room is small and lighted only by a bare light bulb hanging from the ceiling in the middle of the room. The light does not reach most of the corners of the room, but visible in the back left corner will be a man wearing nothing. However, he bears multiple scars, with some still fresh and dripping blood. He will look to you with a face twisted in rage eyes glaring and unblinking due to slit eyelids. He will spit in your direction and curse your name. He will describe all different manners of torture he will perform upon you. He will scream, and as he does, the voices return in force, and the most wicked and vile cacophony will violate your mind. They will describe all the downfalls of your life, they will scream at you, begging to know why you failed the ones you love. You will look down and see the glass. You must refuse yourself the decadent joy of death, for you will not be given that joy here. All you will do is feel the pain of the glass sinking into your flesh, always thinking the next stab will be the one that relieves you of the burden of living. Unfortunately, all that it will bring you is pain, as it does the man who will forevermore try to end his life, but is only prolonging his pain. If you manage to withstand the caterwauling of the damned long enough, 
the screaming will stop. You will look up and see the man, now fully healed. He will walk up to you and offer his hand. You will now feel his rage pulsate through your body. Do not kill this man. Instead, say, Thank you for showing me tranquility, and shake his hand. Once you release, the world becomes black, and you will lose consciousness. Once you awaken, you will see him on the porch of the asylum, clutching a small white stone. This stone is object number 415 of 538. This stone will quell any impure thoughts against you within a fifteen-foot radius of your person, but only if you yourself are of sound mind and body. Can you control the beast inside of you to help us all?